Oh, hi. I didn't see you there while I was here reading. Of course, I'm just kidding around, but ooh, this is a little low. What can we do about this? Kind of helps. I did something on my camera where I'm seeing all these lines. Shouldn't be, don't read and film. That's the lesson. But here's what I've been reading. It's Lost in a, in a Book, an enchanting story of Beauty and the Beast by Jennifer Donnelly. So I decided to read this on a whim. It was available in my Kindle library, which I get through my public library. And I, this whole time, always thought that it was a companion piece to the Beauty and the Beast movie. This came out around the same time as that. And this cover, I don't know, to me, that looks like Emma Watson. So I just assumed it was you know, a basic retelling of Beauty and the Beast, and it was coming out around the same time of the film just to kind of get excitement and awareness. I wanted to read it because I, so I was looking to see if I had the book with me. I loved some of the villain retellings that they had done. Uh, this was not like that. So this really was not a Beauty and the Beast retelling start to finish. This was a lot different gonna hold that thought. Right, I tried and I cannot get rid of these lines on my camera so I'm just gonna not be distracted by it because we've got books to talk about and sometimes you just want to drink your iced coffee and talk about books. And that's the mood I'm in right now. So this book was pretty easy to read. It wasn't too long. It is by Disney Press. And that is why I really thought this was gonna be a straight up retelling. But it really gives, so the kind of like the prologue is the behind the scenes of the person who casts the curse. And um, the person who casts the curse does not want it to be unbroken. So when, it doesn't want it to be broken, unbroken. Don't break it. Don't break the curse. So in order to ensure that happens, she kind of manipulates Belle, who loves her library, with an enchanted book called Nevermore. Can you hear that? There's like kids laughing in the hallway. And I'm like, oh my God, are they laughing at me? Because they can tell I'm YouTubing. Because, you know, that's funny to people. Anyway. Belle steps into an enchanted book called Nevermore. But Belle doesn't know that things are not always how they seem. So the book is not giving you your straightforward retelling of Beauty and the Beast, Girl Meets Beast, Girl Falls in Love with Beast, etc. It is very different. This is not that type of story. This really is the in-between. It's the kids again. The kids again. It is the in-between of what brings Belle I'm so distracted because I'm like, are they listening? I'm in my head because I'm paranoid. I don't know if you're a paranoid person, but I'm in. So I'm picturing them like leaning against the door being like, listen to this lady YouTube. I should scare them like, psst, hey, you kids. I got the cat's attention. Okay. I don't even know where I left off. Belle gets the library. Belle gets enchanted by a book. The book is the, you know, the, the crone is how we know we're in like the movie, the old crone or whatever. I may have made that up. Who um, casts a spell, but in here, she represents death. She has a sister who represents love and who doesn't want this curse to never break. I say that because I keep using broken, unbroken, and not sure what I'm talking about. So anyway, so it's the story of Belle and what brings her to realizing her love of her new enchanted home. So you're getting a totally different story than you think you're going to get. If you're going to read this book, don't go into it thinking you're getting a Beauty and the Beast retelling because it's really not it. It is a whole new, it's kind of like a whole new chapter. It's creating just this whole thing that you never even would have thought of. It's like what, what would happen if the witch who placed the curse 
didn't want Belle to fall in love with the Beast. And so that's what we go into in this story. It does feature some of the cast of characters that we know and love, like Mrs. Potts, Chip, some plumet even uh only slight mentions of gaston he's not really in this we get some more reese action too and of course the beast himself you get a little bit more into jennifer donnelly's take on his character so that's fun but it was not the beauty and the beast like we know from the film. Take that for what you want. I definitely think it's a fun read. If you like young adult novels, that's how I would categorize this one. For me, however, I think it took me a while to digest where this story was going because I really was not expecting, even reading the synopsis, that this was gonna be so different. I just truly felt it was gonna be more of a, you know, companion piece to the movie. It's really gonna take you by surprise. So this book seems enjoyed by most people who read it. It has a 3.92 stars on Goodreads and that's out of over 8,000 ratings. That's a lot of ratings and that's practically four stars. So most people who read this are happy with it. And I mean, come on, here's the cover in color. If you can see it from my phone, it's really beautiful. It's really stunning. And it also is a great book for book lovers because as we know, Belle is a book lover and a lot of the quotables from this book have to do with that. So I'm gonna read you one that I, as well as a lot of other people highlighted. Reading became my sanctuary, Belle continued. I found so much in those books. I found histories that inspired me, poems that delighted me, novels that challenged me, Belle paused, suddenly self-conscious though. She looked down at her hands and in a wistful voice said, what I really found though was myself. So anyone who loves reading is gonna love a heroine who is like that. And really the moral of this story is you can't judge a book by its cover. And Belle really goes in deep, in depth, in diving. She goes into a book and really sees that, you know, things are not as they seem. So if you are a book lover, a young adult book lover, and a Disney lover, might as well give it a chance. I'm really curious to know what your take on it uh, take on it is, especially if you're a Disney purist like myself, where this kind of change in story really threw me off. And that's what kind of held me back from being truly engaged in it. I'm curious to see if I'm alone in that regard. It's certainly possible by the 3.92 stars on Goodreads. I probably would have given it more like a 2.8 for my own personal taste, but I'm really curious to know what another person on the more fanatic Disney level thinks of it. So if you've read it, please let me know. If you plan on reading it, ooh, even better, let me know what you think of it. And, let me know if you like this video, if you like just, you know, shooting the breeze about books and whatever. Obviously you can tell by all my so's and ums and ahs, I'm kind of out of practice. Uh, and by out of practice, I mean I never even practiced or I've done this before as far as just, you know, talking about a book essentially by myself with the kids in the hall, my cat. But um, I'd like to keep trying it because, you know, there we go again, um, you know, so. Anyway, you might notice uh, my username may be changed on here. I'm still the same person, still doing the same stuff. Just not identifying with wrestling with Disney as much as I hoped. And I mean, you identify with your name. So that's why I'm just putting my name, Nina Sack. Sack is the first part of my maiden name. It's Caro. And now that... Um, it's my maiden name, right? And not my actual last name. I feel comfortable using it because then people at work can't look it up and find me. Though, they actually already did. And they're like, it's okay, it's an embarrassing blog. And it was like, they used the word embarrassing. And this is before I even got hired. Isn't that awful? <sighs> it was my own fault, I guess. I divulged too much about my nerdiness in my interview. Anyway. I guess uh, let me know your thoughts. I'm going to wrap it up. 
At least I'm gonna threaten to. No, I'm really going. Thanks again, and hopefully we'll talk soon.